Hey guys. So, um, my name's Shelby. I'm one of the injectors here at Amar. We're at the Orem location. We're doing a little live story today on Botox and why it's important to get started on it when you're young. So we're going to be doing Botox on a four or five different young, beautiful girls. We're doing custom treatments for everybody because everyone has different concerns and not everyone needs the exact same amount of units per Botox, like a Botox, does that make sense? So, Jess here has never had Botox. Can you tell them what your concerns are so we can kind of explain what we're addressing? Well, I'm just doing it for pre preventative reasons so I can prevent having wrinkles when I'm older. Um, and I also do have two lines here that I'm hoping to get rid of. Yeah, cool. So um, I'm just going to use, use, use you as my model here. So I'm going to explain Botox and then we'll just kind of go through and treat everybody. So let's talk about the muscles of the face because Botox, basically what it does is a neuromodulator it prevents muscles from contracting, which create wrinkles. So you have two muscles above your brows here that pull in. Can you scout for me, Jess? See, when you pull in, it creates these, a line here or sometimes two lines called your 11s. So this is your glabella region. You also have a circular muscle here called your procerus. So all of this kind of scrunched up creates those lines that a lot of people don't like. Um, I had them very significantly. I started Botox when I was 22 because I'm nearsighted and I was always squinting. So at the end of the day, I had pretty significant wrinkles right in between my eyebrows. So... Jess is 22, 23, how old are you? 20. 20, okay, even better. <laughs> She's young. But um, we're just going to do small, small amounts on Jess, um, mainly to just soften the lines. We don't want to totally freeze everything. She'll still have a little bit of movement, but it's good to kind of start young, especially when you start noticing static or at-rest lines. So at rest, Jess just has a couple tiny little lines here, if you can see those. Um, and they're worse at the end of the day, of course, so we were talking about it earlier, just after, you know, you've been expressing all day long, your makeup gets stuck in the line, so we are going to just relax your head back. I'm just going to kind of clean her up with a little bit of alcohol before we get started here. Good. Awesome. So we already kind of did a consult for all the girls we'll be treating today, so I know exactly how many units we're going to do for everybody and where they want it. Always clean off first with alcohol. Good. Sweet. So, I use this little vibrating device. Everyone asks me what it is, so let's talk about this for a minute. <laughs> um, this just vibrates. So they've done studies that show that your nerves sense vibrations stronger than pain. So it just distracts from the little poke of the needle. Botox does not hurt that bad. Anyone can do it and tolerate it. It's just, a, it's more like shocking than anything, but it doesn't hurt too bad. So um, Jess can tell you. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get started here. Oh my gosh, this isn't working. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, do you want to switch the battery for me? Mm -hmm. It was working. Well, this is how it works. Got it from Amazon, if anyone wants one. <laughs> yeah, I just got a new battery. Switch it in. Yeah. In the meantime, switch to you. Tell them your concerns mm -hmm. about <laughs> Hey guys, my name's Courtney. Um, I'm doing preventative Botox um, today because I just have these lines. I'm sure you can see them on my forehead. And so I'm doing it to prevent it when I'm older from happening more. So you can actually see when I raise, that's what my need and concern is today when Shelby's injecting me. That's right. That's right. How old are you, Courtney? I'm 22. Okay. So better to start now than later. Alright, that's when I started. Okay, Jess, just close your eyes for me. So, I'm gonna have you scalp for me. Good, and then relax. I always watch the muscles move as I inject because sometimes I don't inject perfectly symmetric. A lot of people's faces are asymmetric, which gives us character so we don't all look like mannequins. Um, but a lot of times people pull stronger on one side versus the other, so 
That's why I always have people animate when I'm injecting them. So, can you scalp for me? Good, relax. Good. Little poke. Good, scalp for me again. Relax. Bad, huh? Nope. <laughs> Vibrator helps. Yeah, it helps a ton. Good. Now we're just going to do a little bit across her forehead. So, do your eyebrows up for me. Good. See, there it goes right there. Good. Raise them up again. Relax. Good. Raise them up again. Relax. Oh, someone asked on yours again what the gold tool is. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's like, and who makes the vibrating dice? Device? It, it's a constant question. So, um, this is just called an energy bar. It was like 15 bucks on Amazon. So, there's way fancier ones. A lot of surgeons have branded them, but honestly, it does the same thing. It's just, it's just a little vibrating device. So, distracts the nerves so it doesn't hurt as bad. You're done. Perfect, nice thank work. you. Mm -hmm. Who's next? I am. Nice, good to see you. Just gonna clean everything off real quick. Why don't you tell them your concerns? Okay, so I'm Kenna Gifford. I'm 21 years old. And I'm doing just kind of like the same as everyone else, preventative, but I also, I think we're, are we doing a, a brow rakes, what is it called? Yeah, a little brow lift. I'm gonna do a little brow lift. So I think it'll just cosmetically be awesome. I'm excited. Okay, relax your head back before we wrap in. So we already kind of figured out how much she wants and what her concerns are. Mainly most common areas, I guess, are the glabella. If you want to scalp for me, here. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> not scalp. I don't know, scalp. Look mean under pressure. Okay. I don't know how to do so that. So she doesn't have a super strong glabella, but we're um, just lightly treating it, and then we're going to do a little brow lift. So I always do a brow lift, especially when I do my own Botox, just because I kind of have a flat brow shape, and I like... Um, the lift that I get from it, so it kind of gives you a better arch and kind of opens your eyes a little bit, make, makes you look a little bit more awake. So it will kind of give kind of this little effect here. Nice little brow lift. You see that? So get you all cleaned off. Sorry, you put your makeup on. Nope, you're fine. Take it all off. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Kenna has a really short forehead. So let's talk about the risks of Botox. It's good to know. So, mainly. Bruising, swelling, um, a little bit of redness, which usually resolves within the first like 20, 30 minutes. Um, but for people who have really short forehead, they're especially at risk for brow dropping, which is kind of this effect from Botox. That just means that the frontalis, this forehead muscle, was over-treated. So if this is over-treated, this is the muscle that pulls everything up. If it's over-treated, it's going to not be able to do that, and it's going to slump down. Does that make sense? So... With her, we're gonna stay really high. We're only gonna do five units on her forehead. Just really lightly treat her forehead. Because I'd rather have her come back in a couple weeks and get a couple more units for a touch up than, than drop her brow, which there's not a whole ton you can do to fix that other than wait it out. So, <laughs> so we're gonna play it safe. Okay, you hold that for me. Good. Okay, relax your head back. Perfect. Okay, so 
pull your muscles in here. Good and relax. Awesome. Good soak. I didn't even feel that. Good. Nice. Keep scalping again. Good. Relax. So I also tell people before they come to get injections, especially filler, to avoid anything that thins the blood. So I so this is normal bleeding. I mean, if you want to zoom in, they usually just get kind of a pinprick um, bleed from it, if any, um, which is perfect. So usually before people come to get Botox or filler, I recommend that they stop taking aspirin, Excedrin, ibuprofen, Aleve, um, vitamin E, fish oil, anything that has a tendency to thin the blood a little bit because that will decrease your risk of bleeding, bruising, and swelling. So, Cool. Okay, we're going to do a little bit of a brow lift in your forehead. Your eyebrows for me. Okay, relax. Raise them again. Relax. Good. Um, raise them again. Relax. Good. Beautiful. You're done. That, like, literally, I didn't even feel that. Really? Yeah, that was weird. <laughs> <laughs> it's magic. Yeah, I just felt the vibration. Nice. And can I have you had Botox before? I've never had Botox. I've done the lip flip in my lip, like above, to line it, but I've never done it in my forehead or anywhere else. So I'm excited. I could hear it, like, squirt into my forehead, though. <laughs> <laughs> that was, like, the weirdest part. <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, the weirdest part is hearing it go through yeah, your skin. Yeah, I can hear it. Yeah. 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 So a lot of people, <laughs> a lot of people are weirded out by the sound more yeah. than the pain. Yeah. Especially if you have great skin, it's just like tight, healthy skin and you can hear it kind of pop through. Yeah, so yeah. yeah, it's perfect. Okay, we're going to Yay! You ready? Totally. I'm so excited. So tell them your concerns. Yeah, so I'm Jensen. I'm 20 years old. Same as Ken, I'm just kind of looking for, um, <laughs> wrong camera. <laughs> no, I'm just kind of looking for, obviously, preventative. Um, the one thing I noticed is my scowl lines right here are very strong. If you can see them. Stronger. Looking stronger. real mad. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Jens has a really strong glabella. That's what mine looks like without Botox. So, without Botox, with Botox. <laughs> Don't get Paris, you're so pretty. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> well, it's just it's just the comparison no, of the muscle so movement. Excited right? to look like her. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> you're so funny. But she does have a pretty strong gobella, so we're gonna do 20 units in her gobella region. Normally, general um, recommended dosing from Allergan, who um, makes Botox, is about 20 to 25 units in the gobella region for full treatment. And that gets you the full three to four month duration. So, relax your head back, Jens. Just cleaning you off a little bit here. Good. Okay. Okay, so it's kind of for me. Good, relax and close your eyes. Good, quick poke. Okay, I just had someone ask what's the difference between Botox and dysphoric? Oh, that's a good question. So, hold on one second here. Good, scalp for me. Good, relax. So that's a really good question. Botox and dysphoric, they are both botulism toxin A products. The easiest way to explain it is dysphoric <coughs> is like this big. And Botox is this big, the molecule. So it takes three dysport 
roughly to equal one Botox molecule. So Dysport um, kicks in a little bit quicker than Botox. Um, usually you see full effect within like seven days, seven, 10 days, Botox 10 to 14 days. Um, the duration's about the same, three to four months, both. So I like both products. Um, it's just kind of up to the, the patient. Botox seems to last a little bit longer in me um, and in a lot of my clients, but I use Dysport as well. I mean, sometimes one works better on a person versus the other. So yeah, it kind of fixes. And the price is the same, the exact same. So. Okay, Giants, a little brow lift for you. Okay, raise your eyebrows and relax. Raise your eyebrows, relax. And again, and relax. Beautiful. You're done. Sweet. Good job. Just lost my voice for a second. <laughs> Good. Wait, that was awesome. That's it? Yeah, not too bad, right? <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> it's fun. Good work. Nice. Okay. Cool, cool. Who's next? Okay. Do you want me to grab it? I'm already putting you on the Facebook Live now. I'm going to do it. Yeah, I'll put my wrinkles. Good, <laughs> So you already told everyone your concerns. Mm -hmm. But yes. we can do it again for people who added on. Yeah, for those of you who just came in. So some of my concerns is actually my forehead. You can see some of those lines there. So I'm really excited to get rid of those. And then also, um, just when I lift around there, and Shelby's also just going to do a small little brow lift. So I'm excited. Have you ever had a brow lift before court? I haven't. You haven't? Okay. You're going to love it. You're going to love it. Relax your head back for me. I'm just going to clean you off a little bit. You can put your chin down a little bit. Okay. Any other questions? Um, nope. Just hard eyes for you, Court. <laughs> So, um, let's talk about things not to do after Botox. How about that? Yeah. So, um, make sure that you don't go in a steam room or work out hardcore or get hot at all, like sauna, anything like that, for 24 hours. Um, it can denature the proteins in the Botox and make it not work as well. So, avoid that um, and avoid laying flat for, they say, three to four hours. And that's a little bit controversial, but um, the Thinking behind that is if you lay flat, the Botox can kind of spread out and get into areas where you don't want it, which can cause like a brow drop or, you know, whatever. We concentrate our Botox. We mix it one-to-one, -one, so there's a lower risk of that. But, um, yeah, other than that, there's not a whole ton you have to do after Botox. Try not to, like, massage your face vigorously after. Just kind of leave it be and go throughout your day as normal. We have one question if you want to answer right now. If one were to have a reaction to Botox, what could we expect? Like an allergic reaction. Hmm. So, that's a good question. Hold on one second. Let me answer that. Okay, quick scalping in here. Good, relax. So allergic reaction, um, there'd be a little bit of redness, a little bit of um, like skin discoloration. Sometimes people develop like a little itchy rash or hives. I've never seen it happen. It's pretty rare to be allergic to Botox. Um, so yeah, and treatment is just uh, depending on the severity, but usually just a little bit of Benadryl or an antihistamine will help with that. How are you doing? Oh, 
doing good. And <laughs> falling asleep. Whatever. And just <laughs> resting. Like, Feels so good. She's in the zone. <laughs> okay. Perfect. So, we are lightly treating her crow's feet. So, my normal spill on crow's feet, which is the smile lines. I like smile lines. I don't really trust people who don't have them. I think it makes us look normal and natural and happy. <laughs> so, um, what I usually recommend is when people start noticing static or at rest lines around their eyes, to just lightly start treating your, your crow's feet. Um, lightly treat them every time or do a full dose um, every other time, just to prevent them from getting really deep and it will just soften the lines. It's not going to completely obliterate the smile lines. Does that make sense? Okay, so we're just doing a baby, baby dose on court here. Good. Can you smile for me? Good. Relax. I think I'm a little brown. Okay. Perfect. Now we're going to the forehead. So put your chin down for me. So do you see these lines here? That's what I mean by like static or at rest lines. She's got these lines here. And she's 20... 22. Two. So um, this is why it's so important to start Botox early. Lightly treating the forehead will totally smooth those lines out and she'll have a smooth forehead the rest of her life. And it, your, front, your uh, frontalis, so this forehead muscle, is like paper thin. It only takes 6 to 10 units to totally smooth out the forehead. So it's, if, if that's something that you're worried about, it's fairly cheap to treat and um, the results are great over time. So relax your head back. Good. Okay, raise your eyebrows for me. Good, relax. Good, raise up again. Relax. Okay, raise again. Relax. I know, it's hard to raise on demand. No, it is. And one more time. Raise up. Try turning your twins a little bit. Raise up and relax. Good. Beautiful. You're done. Okay. Sweet. Nice work. Guys, it's not bad at all. That's <laughs> <laughs> my phone. Good. She's hardly bleeding. That's perfectly normal. So, see this redness? That will usually go away in like 20 to 30 minutes. So. Not too bad. You can put some makeup over it and no one even knows. <laughs> can you put makeup over it? Or how long should you wait? Yeah, I would wait like 20 minutes or so. Um, it, like an hour if you totally, if you can. But a lot of people are on the go and want to just touch it up and go back to work and that's totally fine. Um, I'll just wait like 20 minutes so it, tends to, it has time to kind of clot off and close off a little bit. So. Any more questions? That was good. Yeah, perfect. Fun. Yeah, okay. thanks guys. Well, maybe we'll do like a little follow up in a couple of weeks, and everyone can just show their nice smooth foreheads. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Thanks, guys. Perfect. See you guys. We'll see you. Bye.